Hello, beautiful heart and souls. Welcome to my channel, Crystal in here. Tune into love. Thank you for joining me for this pick a card reading. This pick a card is coming through as messages, guidance for whatever situation you are in at the moment, whatever you find yourself in, um, any wisdom, affirmation, guidance moving forward for whatever particular situation that's challenging you right now that's calling to your attention. So we have three different groups to choose from. Take a nice deep breath and give yourself a moment just to tune in. Group one, two, and three. Whichever group really tugs, really pulls at your intuition is most likely the message for you. There may be more than one message. Um, always trust your intuition. And I just wanna say thank you so much to all my subscribers. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe if the message resonates. It's truly my honor and pleasure to share these messages. I'm so grateful to be able to tune in and share with all of you. So thank you so much for tuning in. I will place timestamps in the description for all of you. And with that, let's just get into it. Start with group number one. Hello, group number one. How are all of you amazing, beautiful heart and souls? I hope you're doing really well. This message came through as whatever is pertaining to your situation right now. So I want to start here with the Ascended Master cards. Um, let's see what your heart and soul wants you to know. Open your heart to love. Jesus. Jesus coming through <laughs> with the entourage of animals. I feel a very beautiful, loving, calming, reassurance energy around you right now. So whatever you may be experiencing, it may feel somewhat heavy. It may feel... Um, you know, just that extra comfort feels really good. It brings a lot of relief and strength to your situation. Um, I'm going to pull a couple more Oracle cards before I pull tarot, just to kind of get a, a, a deeper insight into what's going on here before I read the tarot. Let's get a heart card here. <clears throat> I'm feeling quite a bit. It says, wait, don't rush into it allow nature to take its course okay because i'm feeling like with jesus here and the animals like there's nature like there's na wherever you go in nature outside like there's a lot of synchronicities and messages that are that you're picking up on that you're receiving um i'm gonna pull one more oracle card before i get into the tarot here so wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course and i feel like this is really good for you um, because it's affirming that it's all you need to do right now is be open and receptive to the messages, to your intuition speaking to you. It's not so much about doing anything. I feel like this very friendly energy that's just like a friend with you, you know, that, you know, only says something when it's, when it needs to be said or whatever, just kind of being with you because it's not something you can necessarily figure out by thinking or anything. This is about opening your heart and listening and allowing allowing the messages to be received okay so let's grab one more oracle card here respect your boundaries number 33 okay so i am feeling that there's something here around you know really being in your heart and really really understanding what your boundaries are before you move forward in whatever it is you're thinking about that's going to be really important helping you feel good and confident about the decisions you're making you'll know that you're making the right decisions so there's something your soul your heart wants you to know your higher self your guides your team before you move forward so that you feel prepared you don't feel like you're caught off guard you don't feel like you're in confusion that you're very clear in your feelings and your emotions and with your thoughts okay so let's do some tarot here and see what's happening Hmm. we have the queen of cups okay this is beautiful because i'm feeling this like um energy of this is really about your emotions your emotions are really guiding you right now so this this will have nothing to do with anyone else whatever it is that you're going through must come from you it must be a decision that you alone make with yourself you know so that as you're moving forward you know that it's an alignment for you it's, it's not so much about anyone else's input right now it's about your input and your emotions and your emotions are guiding you in this situation to make the, the best decision to know exactly what to do it's like there's an emotional maturity thing here something that you've attained that no one else 
can do for you. Okay. And you, you know, you'll know in your heart what's right and what's best for you. And that's the kind of decision that you're facing right now. We have the wheel of fortune. Okay. So it's like, this is really big. This is really big life changes. The decisions that you make are going to make, are going to make a huge impact in your life. Um, and then the two of wands. Okay. So there's something here about you moving forward. Um, this could be in a relationship. This could be just in something that is, you know, involves the co-creation of others. So I feel like it's really mindful for you to be completely in a place of authenticity with who you are as a person and in total self-acceptance, self-trust, self-love, self-initiated. Like, you know, this is right for you. Like you would, pr you would pursue this, you would do this no matter what anyone else said. It's that sort of energy. So this is a very fortunate time for you. And I feel like you're going to make the right decisions. This is about you really waiting and, and moving when you feel or, in, you know, it's like moving, taking action, moving your body, making those decisions when your emotions are aligned with it. All about divine timing, really trusting the divine timing of things because things are unfolding. The wheel of fortune is turning. And so it's like, it's like really tuning into the right moment, right? To, to be in the flow of that wheel and not forcing it, not hindering it in any way because it's turning whether you are or not. <laughs> okay. So it's just like, it's like, I'm seeing like, it's, I'm seeing like people doing that, those jump ropes, you know, where, you know, there's like the people doing the jump ropes and then you've got to like, you know, get, you got to jump in at the right moment. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. So it's something about being able to really feel your emotions and know exactly like when you do it, you won't be thinking about it. You'll just feel it and you'll just know. Okay. Well, let's get some clarifying cards here. I'm feeling a lot of prosperity and I'm feeling like this is big, you know, and how you move in on this is going to make a, a really big difference. Okay. So we have the moon with the queen of cups, which is again, letting me know that it's, it's really your intuition is guiding you. And there's a lot that you may not be able to see right now. However, you can feel it. This is all about feeling, moving with your feelings, um, opening your heart to love, aligning with love and only love. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is huge. <laughs> this is huge. Okay. Um, and the star. So th this, this just feels so, um, wow. It, it's like, this is like your destiny. Okay. Like whatever this is, it's like, you're really following your destiny. You're following this path unfolding before you that is so aligned for you. And so it's really feeling that and this opportunity to get in tune with it in a way that you never have before. It's, it's like setting the foundation for everything moving forward. There's no need to rush or worry that it's going anywhere. Like everything is unfolding perfectly for you right now. Um, and it's like, just, it's like getting to really intimately know that feeling of nature taking its course, like understanding the ebbs and flows and the way that it feels so that energetically you really feel it. You know, it's not just something you're thinking about. It's something you feel. And so I, I, you know, it's like the animals with Jesus, they, they just feel this connection, this intimacy, this safety, this comfort, this relief. And that's the kind of feeling that you're going to feel moving forward. Um, I'm just, I'm feeling this is a very, um, it's like, this is so fortunate for you. This is, this is not just about money or finances. Although I feel like it's really going to improve your money and finances. It's all an, ex an expression of it. This energy, this like core inside of you, this heart energy inside of you is really beginning to radiate out. And so you're naturally attracting whatever you need, the right people, the right places. It's all happening for you. <laughs> right? So I feel like there's something here too. You know, as you move forward with this, as the wheel begins to turn and you're really in the flow, um, there's something here with another person or possibly a co-creative venture. It could be if, if it's romantic, it, you'll feel it obviously and you guys are in it together. If it's more like business related, it's a partnership. It's something that you're both looking forward to the future and being able to grow and expand on it. So I feel like, again, this is something here with the star where you really feel like you're shining and it's like, it's, it's all about recognizing the choices that you're making. You're choosing this in your life. And so all of this would happen, you know, it, it, it can only happen when you align with it. Right. So it's like, I don't know, there's something here about you feeling really good no matter what. So there's a, there's a rising above duality, light and dark day and night. Um, I feel like you're like super focused in the day. And then at night it's like, I'm seeing her, you know, outside, watering the <laughs> it's like I don't know I feel like you have this energy you'll feel this energy when you're in the flow 
where you, you may not feel as tired or like you need to sleep as often. Like you, you are able to accomplish a lot more in the day and it just feels effortless and you feel rejuvenated and it, and you feel alive. And yet there's not so much effort. It's like you're, you're feeling like you can slow down and yet everything, there's so much more that you can accomplish. So, and, it, and when I say slow down, I don't mean like you feel sluggish or tired. I feel like it's just more like very, very soothing, gentle, like everything you do rejuvenates you. Everything feels really good. So you just feel alive. It's very vital. And yet it's not like, you know, you're not like all over the place or anything. So, um, I feel like this is a time for you to really just, you know, really tune into your boundaries, be very clear on what your boundaries are moving forward so that there's no confusion around that, respecting your boundaries, honoring your boundaries and knowing that's okay. You know, it's okay. It's good when you respect your boundaries and you're moving forward with others who do that as well. So if it's going to only um, solidify that for you moving forward, it's going to reinvigorate that. It's going to, um, God, what's the word? I'm, I'm, I can feel it on the tip of my tongue. It's just like, it's going to keep reiterating. Like it'll keep, it'll keep regenerating itself. <laughs> it's like, you know, reinforcements. Yeah. Like good reinforcement, you know, for your own for the way that you see yourself and the, and the values and the qualities that you align with. Um, so really trust your, your emotions, your intuition right now, because your emotions are, you know, they're really guiding you right now. And you want to really feel that energy of that heart space so that you can, you know, always, I want to say, compare it to it. If there's ever a feeling of contrast, you can really remember, you know, the remembrance is right there anytime you need it. So especially as you're expanding and growing, there's always going to be energies that you interact with that are new or unfamiliar to you. So as long as you have that, that core remembrance of what it feels like for you, you'll never forget it ever again. And, and once you really, really know it, it's like, it just gets better and better. Okay. So, so wait, don't rush into anything. Okay. <laughs> Let's get some more Oracle cards here and see what else is happening. What else do you need to know right now? And I feel like here with the moon, you know, it's really recognizing your feelings and your emotions, like how you feel with certain things, um, how you respond and, and becoming so aware of it that it's just, it's effortless for you moving forward. We have the raven, magic coincidence, synchronistic events, and the eagle spirit, integrity, connection to the angelic realm. So again, I feel you very connected to your guides, your spirit team, the, to nature. Um, you're always going to be receiving messages, whatever you need to know. It's, it's going to be affirmed for you pretty quickly. Um, so, you know, being open, it's like, I feel like it allows you to stay open and receptive um, to your inner guidance very easily, whatever it is that you're moving forward with. Um, and really helping you see the bigger picture, the whole picture, the all inclusive picture, <clears throat> you know, I'm seeing cycles here. Like there's, there's things coming around full circle for you. Um, I'm seeing new cycles beginning and you have that deeper understanding of the cycles and how they operate. So this is just another expansion of yourself. That's really, it's going to be, this is going to be, you know, a long period of time that's coming for you with the wheel of fortune. It's something that there's longevity to it. It's solid. It, it, it's not something that is built overnight and it's not something that will go away overnight. It's something that's going to sustain and remain with you for a very long time. Um, and I feel here with the queen of pentacles, if you are a business owner or you're starting a business or you're in business for yourself, um, you're going to continue thriving and becoming more, you know, comfortable in your role as a boss of yourself or whatever that is. Um, like it just feels like there's a lot of confidence here. There's a lot of understanding and deep wisdom and knowing, um, and we're just very prosperous. Okay. So allowing yourself time to really feel into everything is really important because moving with your intuition and any business decisions you make, finances, whatever that is for you, your foundation, your resources, um, being able to provide resources for yourself or others and anything, anything that pertains to nurturing your foundation, your home life, your environment, your business. I feel like you're just, you're feeling really good in this next cycle of your life where it just really feels like you're coming into your own and you feel really confident and you're ready to, you know, it's like, I feel like this person here, it can represent so many different things for you. It's just like, because you have this you know, this connection with yourself now that feels so confident, it's, it's more effortless to expand with others as you're moving forward. Okay. And we have heal thyself. Number 24, heal thyself. Okay. So I feel like whatever this is, you know, whatever it is around your heart and your boundaries, it's a really good time to allow yourself, you know, there's always, 
so much excited. It's like when things are really exciting, we, we still want to keep in mind that there may be healing within ourselves and it, and it doesn't mean we can't move forward, right? We're still embracing life. We're expanding, we're learning. And it's also important to continue healing ourselves. And as we do that, you know, we connect in, in deeper ways. I'm feeling with the earth a lot. Um, and I feel like the earth is really supporting you and whatever is going on internally or externally, like there's a lot of, there's always a lot of healing energy around you. So especially right now, you know, when it comes to your heart, when it comes to respecting your boundaries, whatever healing work that you feel guided to participate in, definitely embrace it and allow yourself time to heal. And, and I feel like that's, you know, a part of what's aligning for you. Um, whatever emotional healing needs to occur right now, this is the time to do it. Okay. Heal thyself. I feel like nature is going to be a really healing aspect in it. Um, in whatever way you choose for yourself. So let's see, we're going to get a few more Oracle cards here. I'm seeing the nighttime too. You may feel really good. Um, you know, it's summertime here in the U S you may feel a, a special healing energy when you go outside at night. If you feel inspired to go outside at night and be under the stars, um, I feel like there's some sort of magical healing quality that, you will be really well received right now. Even here with the moon card, there's a lot of energy of the night under the stars, the elements that are outside at nighttime. Um, I feel like there's something there with that. So you may just feel like that's, that's the time when you receive like some sort of healing energy that's really profound for you. Okay. And really important too. Look at this healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Okay. I, I feel like this is going to be really good for your heart, especially at, there's something with the nighttime, you know, where it's peaceful, it's quiet. Most people are inside sleeping. Um, and even here, like around where I live at night, at certain times of the night, I can hear birds at night. There's like night birds that I would have never known about <laughs> unless I went outside. And I think, oh my goodness, that is so amazing. There's like certain animals and creatures that come out at night that emit energies. And I feel like when we pick up on them, I don't know, there's something here about you receiving healing in, in multiple ways right now in ways that are very effortless for you and I don't know it just has to do with some sort of newfound innocence or in, independence I said innocence so that's true independence I was gonna say independence <laughs> however yes I mean there's a new form of innocence a purity about you and I just I feel like there's something here with the night that really affirms that for you so this is really beautiful, healing from heartbreak, healing from any sort of toxic patterns, relationships that were instilling, um, you know, a disrespect of boundaries. I feel like that you're really moving through that and healing those aspects of you really beautifully, okay? Get a self-love card here. The present experience is a stepping stone to new awareness. <clears throat> My spiritual growth comes to me in ways I don't quite expect. I know I am always safe. Wow. I am really feeling that here, especially with the night energy. <laughs> There's something here about really being grateful for the process of the spiritual journey and how it unfolds so magically, like how we, we don't know it until we experience it. Like we think in our minds it's going to go one way and then it guides us in this way that we could have never thought about. And it's, it's so heart centered and these moments happen and these profound things happen. And we're like, wow, of course it's going this, of course this is how it is. You know, I feel like it's really beautiful because you're really able to tune into the present moment and appreciate the experience and have that kind of childlike wonder and awe feeling to it, you know, where it's, and yet it's so, it, it, it happens at certain stages in our life when we've gained a certain level of maturity, especially here with you, you know, the emotional maturity, really feeling into your emotions, your feelings and understanding it and being aware of the process of life and seeing the stepping stones that we take, you know, when we're able to look back through our experiences and be like, that's, you know, that's why it had to happen that way. And I feel like it's, it's nice because it's like we get to feel our childlike self and we, and it's unexpected. We do not expect it. <laughs> and I'm feeling that that energy come through here with you, especially when you go outside at night right now. So it, you know, my spiritual growth comes to me in ways I don't quite expect. I know I'm always safe. And I love that because there is an energy around nighttime where, you know, some people may not feel safe at night. And however, I feel like you're really going to feel safety. You're going to feel supported and nurtured in this way that 
maybe you haven't felt for a very long time. So there's something magical going on here. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get a few more here. <clears throat> Got to do a Bob Ross card. We have the Ace of Pentacles. If I paint something, I don't want to have to explain what it is. <laughs> the Ace of Diamonds. If I paint something, I don't want to have to explain what it is. So this feels so intuitive, like really moving with your intuition. It doesn't matter what it is. You don't have to explain it to anyone. You feel it. You can feel what's right. You can feel what's good. You can feel what's creatively expressing out of you, what's soul guided, all of that. And you don't need to explain it. You just know it and you're going to, and you're going to move with it and do it. And it's going to feel amazing. Okay. Like I just feel like there's something here where you really have that clarity, that connection with your feelings that is so profound. And it's, it's what, uh, it's what unlocks this new phase, this next phase in your life in such a beautiful way. And it's so natural, you know, it just feels so natural and so good. Um, <clears throat> and so enjoyable, you know, where you can really be present and, and just allow it to happen okay we're going to pull one from the divination of the ancients here to close the message <clears throat> we have dreams incubation dreams incubation so I feel like even tonight, like after you go to sleep in the next couple nights, even maybe over the next, next few weeks, I want to say in the next few days from this reading, I feel like the dreams are really, you're receiving a lot of inner insight, especially here with the, the nighttime energy, um, your intuition, the receptiveness. I feel like the energies around you right now are really profound and insightful for whatever it is you're going through right now and your spirit guides, your heart, your soul really speaking to you. Um, and sharing with you in ways that are very effortless for you, where you're just, you're receiving them and you wake up refreshed, you wake up knowing you, you're you outside, like it's just happening. Um, and there is something really profound here about the nighttime energy. So um, I'm just, I'm seeing you feeling very peaceful and very rejuvenated through all of it. Like it's, it, I feel like it's almost surprising how how effortless it really is when you open up your heart to love. Okay. And I just, I feel like this experience is, is really profound for you and it's really going to help you to make these decisions moving forward in ways that it makes it feel so much easier. It makes the, it, it takes the stress out of it. You know, like I'm feeling like anxiety, overwhelm, any sort of stress, any sort of worries really being dissolved, dissipating where you, you just know that, okay, it's, you know, this is happening and this is really great. This is like the support of the spiritual journey. And this is why I'm aligned with it in the way that I am. And and it's just, it's going to be uniquely personal for you, whatever comes through. I feel like a lot of ancient energy in here too, um, you know, energy from ancient times. It could even have to do with business and how we build businesses and how we maintain those family, family foundational, like I, I'm hearing like family foundational businesses or structures or legacy type of energy where, you know, it's, it's, it's being created for the bigger bigger picture of life it's not just like something like a fad or a trend it's like this is something that you will enjoy for your life and something that you can share with others something that continues to build so i feel like there's something here with that you know ancient ancient wisdom um regarding business and and like building legacy okay so dreams incubation pay attention to your dreams even maybe a little dream journal you know that you keep by your bed or when you wake up in the morning and you feel, you feel like you're, re you're recalling your dreams or thinking about them or feeling them, you know, just to write down, you know, right next to your bed, just when you wake up, you know, just start writing things down. <laughs> I mean, I do that all the time and it's, it's always so great. I'm always glad I do. So, um, you know, and then you don't have to explain it to yourself throughout the, the day or, or whatever, when you're thinking about it, it's like when you write it down, it's there and you don't have to say anything even it's just like pouring out of your heart and it's for you to remember to continue you know bringing it into the physical reality out of the invisible into the physical okay oh my goodness group number one this is your message i truly hope it resonated i hope that it has brought some peace and affirmation to what you're feeling and definitely wisdom and guidance moving forward I appreciate you all so much. Thank you to all my beautiful subscribers. I love you infinitely. <laughs> if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe if the message resonated. Um, 
and I will be back again very soon with another pick a card for all of you. Thank you so much for allowing me to tune in. It truly is my honor and pleasure. I'm so grateful to be able to share these messages with all of you. And I will see you again very soon. Be really good to yourselves. Infinite love always. Peace. Hello, group number two. How are all of you beautiful heart and souls? Thank you once again for tuning in. I'm so grateful to be here with all of you. So let's see what your heart and soul want you to know about your situation, what situation you're in. Find the blessing in your current situation, Krishna. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple more oracle cards here before I get into the tarot. Find the blessing in your current situation. Let's pull a heart card here. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> okay. So I'm definitely feeling some things come through. Um, whatever hardships you're going through right now, I feel like this definitely is a blessing in disguise. Um, it's something that's going to strengthen you in ways that you really could have never imagined. So we have deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay, so this is going to be something that really shows you that you make the right decisions for yourself always that no matter what has happened even if it feels like you've made the wrong decisions you've actually made the right decisions for yourself and this is something that's going to reinstill trust within you it's going to help you let go of doubts and worries um, it's going to show you that you have this unwavering faith within yourself that you know yourself better than you think you do and that you haven't done anything wrong at all. That all this time, whatever it is, you have made the right decisions for yourself. You have followed your intuition. You have trusted your feelings. And even though things may have not, you, I feel like maybe you feel like you haven't been led in the right way or there has been some something where you weren't listening to yourself properly. And if it was meant to be, you know, it's like following your heart, everything should be good. <laughs> um However, this situation is going to show you like exactly why things had to transpire the way they did or show up the way they did or play out the way they did or why you had to experience certain things. Um, and it may not feel like it at the moment. However, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Okay. And so right now you have to do what feels right. And this is going to show you how, how awesomely connected you are truly to your path and that everything is happening for a reason. Okay. We have embrace spirit, number eight. Especially when we're going through difficult times and things aren't working out the way that we thought they would. Um, sometimes we tend to push spirit away or we get angry. I know I did. I mean, I really challenged spirit many times <laughs> in my journey. Um, and every time, you know, it it solidified my connection even deeper. Like it showed, spirit is so loving. There is such a pure loving energy that we are always tuned into that it's like at times you know I feel like I was throwing huge tantrums because you know it's like I trusted and then you know something happened that I did not <laughs> expect or want or call in and I was just like what in the world and so like I'd have moments and times with spirit where I was just like I'm not doing that I'm not I'm done you know <laughs> like, <laughs> like throwing a tantrum or something I was like it, however it you know it's like your heart is always leading you and then something happens that shows you, okay, okay, you know, I'm on the right path. Like this is real. I trust this. I trust, I trust myself. And we continue moving forward in all the right ways. It's all a part of the journey of, of trusting our spirit, trusting. And it's like, we have to learn how to really trust ourselves and connect with ourselves and feel who we really are. And it has to be real. If it's not real, you know, we're going to, we're going to know it. So it's like, it's through these times where we really, really, really get to know who we are, our connection, what it feels like, what it's all about. And so I feel like embracing spirit, you know, really embrace spirit right now. It's the number eight. And I, I was feeling strength earlier. Like this is really going to help you see and feel and know how strong you are and how strong spirit is and how you're always guided and how you haven't made any wrong decisions for yourself. You, you know how to make the right decisions for you. You, you are always going to make the right decisions for yourself. You need to know that. Okay. Even if it doesn't feel right in the moment or you feel like you didn't make the right one, you are always making the right decisions for you. I promise you, I can feel it, okay? Let's get some tarot here. Ace of Wands, 
Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. And I'm the salamander here. It's, you know, a symbol of, uh, it's a symbol of passion, regeneration. You know, there, there's something here being regenerated within you. Look at this Ace of Swords, my goodness. <clears throat> and the Eight of Swords, okay. So really, this is, there's, there's new energy that's pouring into you right now. And it's kind of shaken up your reality. Right now, you can't see it like you normally feel like you like you should be able to normally see it. I feel like you're having a difficult time seeing it because there are certain truths and certain thoughts that are surrounding you right now that you're not able to see. Like all of these these truths are surrounding you and you can't see them right now because you're blindfolded and tied up. Okay, like from the past situation, whatever, or the situation, the current one that you're in right now, it's it's like you've been blinded to a lot of things. So what's going to happen is that as these blinders come off, as you free yourself, which you will naturally, it's going to happen naturally through the process of really trusting yourself and knowing that you've made the right decisions. I feel like you're going to have a lot of profound epiphanies and downloads and moments where it's like, it, you just feel it or, or you, or you receive an inspiration and something clicks within you and the blindfold comes off and you're like, Oh my goodness. And then there's all this truth around you. And you're like, I knew it. I was right the whole time. I was right. I could feel it. For whatever reason, though, it's been it's been kind of shielded from you. So I'm even seeing this man here. He's like helping you. Like there's there's help and support around you that's helping free you your perceptions right now. Some someone or something has been blinding you to the truth. And and all along you felt it. You've known it. Um, and I feel like this situation is really going to, this is where, you know, it's been the catalyst for you to really be able to break through whatever, um, has been keeping you blind to what's been going on around you. Okay. I feel a lot of, um, even the bird of prey here has blinders on and yet, you know, there's, there's a sense of feeling. So it's like your feelings are really in tune right now. You're really feeling it. Embrace spirit. Okay. We've got these beautiful, majestic birds of prey. I feel like they're watching over you, you know, and like keeping an eye on the predators. <laughs> like, I mean, you don't even have to worry. Even with the salamander here, like there's something here about remembering like spirit has also, you know, th this energy of like, I don't know, the cycle of life where, <laughs> you know, it goes like, I don't know. There's, it's just something here where you don't have to worry. Like all the help and assistance is around you and you may not even be aware of it or be able to see it or feel it. It's still there. And it's handling things for you that, you know, it's because you, you're an infinite, beautiful, divine being. And that's what they do. And that's what we do. It's just, it's the way that it works. So deep in your heart, you know the answer. You know what feels right. You know what's right for you. And this, this situation that you're in, even if it's difficult and feels difficult, it's, it's showing you. Like this is the catalyst that's showing you so much. And you have a lot of new, new energy pouring into you right now. Um, and I'm feeling a lot of new insight, a lot of new epiphanies, a lot of new downloads that are going to free your perception in a lot of ways. Okay. So embrace spirit right now more than ever. Trust. Okay. Trust. We have the Knight of cups here. <clears throat> yeah. I'm feeling, a, a like a, there's a, there's a love in the air type of feeling a romantic vibe where life is beginning to feel more alive and, and you're in the flow of love more as you're moving forward. I still feel like you, you feel somewhat, you know, like protecting yourself in some ways, which is fine. You're, but see how his, his mask, his, like his helmet, he's got, it's like, he can see his face is exposed. Um, I feel like there's just a lot happening here, um, in terms of you, like shedding things around you. I don't know. It's like this feeling of like, feeling like before you needed to kind of shield yourself from things. And now you're, I feel like you're kind of breaking free of that and you feel the strength around you. You feel the spirit around you protecting you naturally, as opposed to you having to put any effort into it. So it's a process and it's about really embracing your soul, embracing the spirit around you, knowing how protected you are. And I feel like this new passionate energy allows you to walk more freely in the world with every step you take, walking in love, being in love, noticing more attracting more love into your life, attracting more loving experiences. And I'm seeing here too, with new inspiration coming in, even if you can't see it, you feel it, you know, with the two of wands, there's like this passionate energy of connection of, of knowing, you know, through your own energy that this is, you know, it's, it's, it's a time to move forward and you're not alone. You can even see like a, there's a hand here on the other wand 
even though you can't see who they are or see who these people are, these are your people. You know, these are soulmates. These are people you're going to be walking forward with in life and they feel you too, even if you can't see each other. Okay. And yeah, the three of wands with the eight of swords. So again, there's so much truth surrounding you right now. Like I feel like, I feel like these swords are like all this truth. That's just like, they're waiting for you. And when you feel like when you feel you can really see, you're just going to be surrounded by all this truth and it's going to feel so good. Like you're going to feel so validated and affirmed in so many ways for everything that you've been through that it, there's, there's not going to be any doubt. <laughs> it makes me feel a little emotional because I can feel your moment where you just like break through and, and you're just like, oh my goodness, thank goodness. <laughs> it's like, there's so much relief. And with relief, it's like, and there's like excitement, you know, there's like passion. There's like, oh my gosh, this is, this is, this is it. You know, so I've been waiting for this and it's going to un start unfolding and leave. It's just the beginning of something new. Like there's something new and there's so much more to it, you know? It's, it's something where you're just going to feel the expansiveness and it's just going to be bring your heart so much joy. So much joy. I'm even seeing Krishna here like, la, 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 on the flute play. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. It's just like this energy of, of playfulness and happiness. We have communication, number 41. Okay, so really positive communication, really clear communication, po communication that feels really good, that feels really progressive, that feels expansive, that feels you know, relatable, that's healthy, healthy communication, um, nurturing communication, a lot of really good words and feelings that come with communication where you feel clear, you feel like, you know, it, I don't know, everything feels very effortless. It's like healthy, healthy communication. Okay. And I feel like you're going to begin really receiving that, really engaging in that. Um, and I feel like right now it's just like you really focused on that and, and trusting, you know, when everything is meant to be, it's going to be, Feel like you're surrounding yourself with better communication, um, listening to better communication wherever you are. It's like when I say better, I just mean for you. You know what's right for you, what resonates with you, what feels good for you, um, and being really happy to be surrounding yourself with that. Knowing you're making those choices for yourself, you're choosing it, right? So it's just going to continue growing when it's true love, when it's truly meant to be for you, when it's authentic. It's easy, it's natural to be around that. And so I feel like your communication improving. Um, or maybe before you weren't able to speak as freely or communicate as freely. And I really feel that opening up for you right now, really being able to communicate and express yourself in your own way. And it feels really good. Um, and also being connected to communication with spirit in new ways that you've never experienced before that feel really natural for you, really authentic for you, um, help you grow, help you learn lots of like maybe new education in terms of how you connect with your soul and what, how you learn about your soul and your, and your path. Um, it all feels really, really good. Okay. And even just basic communication with everyday people. Um, I, I feel like here that with the Knight of cups, it's like, if you're out and about in public, um, you know, the communication is, is surprisingly good, even though you're kind of, you know, in this like energy of not having, you know, it's like you, you don't, you can't always be you know, all like there's a certain energy, right? Or you go out in public and you, you've got to fit in with the public, you know? So it's like, I feel like there's, there's something here where there's no awkwardness. Like there's some sort of anxiety eased with communicating with people where you don't feel like you need to shield yourself because you're already, you know, you're already protected in some way. And so it doesn't trip you up. Like I'm just, I'm seeing like people talking on the street and it's just like, Oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and you don't have to, you don't even know, have to know, like anything or what what's going to be said it's just like there's an ease with communication and there's no um there's no anxiety or stress around it okay no need to explain yourself or feel awkward um it's just i don't know there's something here it feels really good <clears throat> and you're able to really see into the future i feel like it's it's like you may not have been able to see for a long time. It's been really most, mostly what you feel. And I'm seeing here too, like, you know, the crystal ball and him looking or her looking at this person. It's like, he's looking into the future. And, and so the, your eyes are wide open. Like, I feel like you're going to be able to see a lot more than you were before, you know, especially here with the blindfold on, there's something here about you being able to see things that you've been feeling. And we have divine light number 27. 
Yeah, it's like the light is really illuminating everything for you in ways that you've never seen before. I feel like you're really, really going to enjoy um, this next phase of your of your life in ways that are just so profound. I mean, I'm seeing like this is like Stonehenge. I don't know. I'm going to read this card for you really quick. Um, it feels really good. It feels really, really good. Let's see here. Divine light. So the flower is St. John's wort, alleviates depression, soothes shock and trauma, and elevates moods. And the stone is sunstone, contains the cleansing healing power of the sun, and shares it with those who ask. Whether you are feeling blue or suffering from more serious conditions, you can support your healing by turning to the divine light and nourishing your own inner divinity. When we don't feel well, it is easy for our inner lights to fade. Get the attention you need, whether medical, psychological, or spiritual, while supplementing with big doses of bright divine light. My inner divine light wants to shine in the world. I give my light energy and brilliance by connecting with the greater divine energy that nourishes all of life. So I feel like um, for you, it's like whatever, wherever you're having anxiety or like any sort of like fears or worries, I feel like the communication is really healing for you. Like I feel like there's you know, you can reach out and communicate with someone. You can talk with someone or even listening to someone online or tuning in however you do. There's something where the communication right now is really appreciated. And it's really helping you in your heart, in your psyche, in your body. Like just really figure out what's going on for yourself um, where you don't feel alone. It's like helping you shed light on what's happening so that you feel affirmed and validated and you know you're not crazy or that you're wrong about anything, okay? Because I, I can feel where... You, you may be doubting yourself or doubting the process or the spiritual path. And so it's like there's something here that's really profound for you that opens your eyes, that helps you see. And it's like proof, you know, <laughs> it's like I feel like the proof is coming through. Um, so you need to just follow what's in your heart. You know what's right. Like, I just feel like you're going to make you're you're going to make all the right decisions for yourself and you already have. OK, and you will continue that. So let's see here. Let's get a self-love card really quick. I forgive all past experiences. I accept that I have, I have, I accept all that I've created for myself, my past and my present. I am willing to allow my future to happen. Okay. There's like something where, you know, I used, I remember going through a time where I, I would think to myself, and I know I've said it before on this channel, but it's like, sometimes we need to experience what wasn't true for us so that when we, so we know what is true for us. Um, or like we need to experience what love isn't so we know what it truly is. And so, you know, it could be something like that where it's just recognizing that there are certain experiences that you may have had, certain situations that you know weren't right for you. However, you learn from them and, and you know that and there's infinite experiences in life. So the only way to know what's right for you is by trusting yourself and, and allowing yourself to discover it, make mistakes along the way and don't give up on yourself. You know, just because you've experienced something that you don't like or you don't want, it doesn't mean you're wrong. It just means that now you know that and you can make the right different decisions moving forward. You can feel deeper into what you want. You know more of what you want and what's right for you. And so you can trust yourself more and more. And when we, when we can forgive the past and be grateful for it and really choose to learn from it, then we make naturally better decisions for ourselves. And so I feel like that's a part of it is really allowing yourself to forgive your past experiences, let go, learn from it and recognize that, you know, we create our own experiences no matter what. We may not understand why. Our soul is always with us, though, guiding us every step of the way. I really feel like, you know, our, our soul is our body manifested. You know, it's like our body is our soul manifested. I mean, <laughs> it's like your soul is always with you. And certain experiences that are very challenging to go through, I mean, there, I, I, I can relate. I've been through some very difficult soul. I've been through some challenges where I didn't even know if I wanted to stay on earth. You know, it's like, I'm not sure about this. I wouldn't have created this for myself. You know? <laughs> I was like, uh -uh, I, I didn't create this, you know? And it's like, I wouldn't be who I am today had I not embraced it and continue going and trusting. And the most amazing things have happened. 
you know, and so it's just something you have to experience and it's all about acceptance and embracing yourself, embracing this journey for what it is and allowing yourself to have those experiences that are your dreams coming true. You know, it's like, I, I feel like you're really aligning with some really, perf it's like, it's only going to get better from here and you don't want to miss it. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. You haven't been through all, all, you haven't been through all of that for nothing. Nothing is in vain. Okay. So let's see, let's get a Bob Ross card. It's going to start getting good now. <laughs> Better than ever, okay? <clears throat> so let's see. The King of Diamonds, find freedom on this canvas. And you shall, and you will. You're going to find your own personal freedom. You're going to be free, liberated. You're going to enjoy this experience. And that's all there is to it, okay? <laughs> Find freedom on this canvas. Um, I really feel that for you. I feel profound freedom. Um, and that's what you're moving into. And it's just, it, as you begin to really experience it, there's there's no going back, okay? And you're going to love it. And it's going to feel right for you. And you're going to know that it's right for you. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. So you may have been dealing with some addiction issues um, within yourself or, or people around you, um, which can be really depleting to your energy. It's, it's like it, it keeps you from focusing on what you truly want to be focused on. And, you know, it kind of like sucks you into this little world of, you know, whatever that is. So really confronting any sort of addictive type of personalities, um, any sort of obsession energies. Like I feel like when you choose to surrender to that and acknowledge whatever it is you have to or need to, whether it's for yourself or someone else around you, it's going to liberate you. You've got to really allow yourself to tune into what it's like, you know, anytime we're, we're addicted in a certain way. It's like we're we're not focused on the healthy choices for ourselves. We're not able to kind of break out of things and and bring in and invite in the things that really truly we want to experience. Um, so I feel like you're moving through a lot of that. I feel like you're able to identify a lot of that, um, and it's teaching you a lot about what you put your focus on, about the energy that surrounds you, how you communicate, how you interact with the world. It's helping you see the bigger picture and it's helping you liberate yourself from any sort of addictive type of habits um, or even personality. I'm hearing personality figures around you. Um, it's helping you release any sort of codependency. I feel an independence that you're really embracing within yourself. Um, and it's about choosing new energies to invite into your life that naturally allow you to, it's like you want, when you invite the, the naturally good energy into your life, you don't feel a need to be addicted to things. You don't feel a need to feed any sort of addictions because it feels so good to be aligned with that, which makes you feel good and about yourself. Um, it's like, I feel like it's teaching you a lot about the control that you have in your life, the power that you have to choose, how you create your own reality, what you choose to align with. Um, you have the power and only you can make the choice. So there's something here around being able and look at the little heart dragging on the, on the ground at her ankle. It's like, instead of being in her, in her chest and lighting her up with that inspiration, it's just dragging behind her on this chain. Um, so letting go of codependency and obsession and, possession type of energies where if, where if something feels like it has more power over you, right? Um, controlling has a block or restraint. So I feel like, you know, whatever this is, it's it, an, an addiction can be anything really. It's whatever it is that's hindering us from truly aligning with our own power, right? So anything that has power over us, I feel like you're really breaking through that. It's really helping you claim your power, be in your power and know that you do make the right choices for yourself and you will make the right choices for yourself. When it's, when that's your intention, you will, nothing can stop you from, from that. You have power over your own life. And once you recognize that and claim that there's no going back, no one else can have power over you and not, no thing else can have power over you unless you give it power over you. Right? So it's like, I feel like there's something here about really setting an intention within your heart to just claim your power and claim, you know, Claim, like claim to yourself, no, no one or nothing has power over me. I choose what, you know, I choose to stand in my power and I choose what I focus on. I choose what's in my life and what isn't. Um, 
it's very powerful and I just I feel you may feel alone in this however that you're going to feel so much support it's going to feel like the right thing you're going to have reinvigorated strength reinvigorated um, energy there's a lot there's a lot going on here okay and it's just it's something only you can do for yourself no one else can do it for you and you've learned so much right you're a very strong person you're you're an infinite being okay there's no mistakes when you choose to learn and it's like i'm seeing like you know find freedom on this canvas it's like a clean slate you know we're human we've got to learn we make a lot of mistakes <laughs> You know, that's just a part of life. And so as long as you're choosing to learn and grow, you're going to be great. You're going to be so happy you did. This is your life. It's not anyone else's. And you have a right to feel good and you have a right to live it in any way that you choose. And it's all about recognizing that when you take responsibility for it and creating it, you know, there's no reason to beat yourself up or feel bad. It's just about choosing to move forward and embrace the future and embrace, you know, the love in your heart and embrace what you know is right and true and keep going. I've made so many mistakes that, you know, I've had to face humiliation and embarrassment and grief and loss more times than I can even remember. <laughs> it's just like, you got to keep going, you know? Okay. So we have shooting star confirmation. So this is really beautiful. I mean, I, the night energy is really powerful right now at this time. When I'm doing this reading, the night energy is pouring through. It has in the last couple, couple of readings I've done in, in the first message too, I feel like if you go outside at night, um, you know, there'll be shooting stars. There'll be affirmations for you. I feel like there's an energy right now that is empowering. You know, when you can be outside at night and feel safe and feel connected to the earth and the energies and feel your power, you know, feel your infiniteness, feel how, you know, powerful you truly are and how that power is love. You know, it's loving, it's gentle, it's aware that your instincts are strong you know, really feel yourself and know how beautiful you are, how infinite you are, how divine you are. You know, your soul is pure. It knows what it's doing. And it's about trusting your own soul's power, your guidance and the connection to this earth. This earth is powerful. The energy is powerful. And I just, I feel a lot of affirmation here for you in, in, the, in those moments that are just yours. You know, a lot of, a lot of um, messages and communication and synchronicities that are just reminding you how precious you are, how your, how precious your life is, how important you are, how loved you are, how seen you are. Even if you don't feel like you can see, you're seen, you're supported, you're witnessed by life itself. And life is always, 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 always going to show up for you in those moments when you least expect it or when you really need it. Like it's, it's going to show up for you. Okay. So I feel like just know that. And in, in that awareness, you're going to see those affirmations. You're going to feel um, that connection. It's going to remind you of how connected you really are, that you are loved, that you are seen, that you are supported. Okay. And help heal you, help you see, help you do whatever it is you need to do right now in this situation. So allow yourself to stay open to that communication that feels really good in your heart. That's going to guide you. That gives you the strength to move through any blocks or restrictions that are happening to you or around you or with you. Okay. And you know, in your heart, what you need to do. And when you, when you make that decision, you're going to instantly feel better. You're just going to know, even if it's difficult, right? Don't give up on yourself. Trust yourself. Keep going one moment at a time, one day at a time. Um, and it's like, you don't have to necessarily see everything to know that it's all going to work out. You feel it in your heart. You'll feel what's right for you. And I feel like this is really going to help you feel, um, really responsible in your own power, like feeling really self mastered in yourself one day at a time, one step at a time. Okay. So my goodness <laughs> and move, you know, move your body, take action. When you feel passionate in love, make sure that every step you take is in love and know that it is because, you know, like I'm seeing here a lot of passionate energy coming in for you, a lot of new inspired ideas and passion and, and, you know, new ways of seeing the future, new ways of being co-creative with others in the future that feels more interdependent, you know, independent, interdependent versus codependent or relying on others that, maybe let you down in the past. Okay. Or even yourself. I don't know. I feel like there's something here about you also feeling really good about moving forward by yourself. If you have to, like there's, there's something here where you feel that strength and that courage, um, and that, you know, you're supported. Okay. You got the Eagle here, seeing the bigger picture. And I just, I don't know. I feel like you've got the, the protection all around you to, to feel that safety. Okay. So find the blessing in your current situation and know that you're making all the right decisions for yourself. You're going to feel it in your heart. 
Okay, group number two, this was your message. I truly hope it resonated. I truly hope it affirmed and just brought wisdom and empowerment and guidance moving forward for you. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you to all my subscribers. You're amazing. I love you infinitely. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe if the message resonated. Um, and I just, I'm so grateful to share these messages with all of you. It truly is my honor and pleasure. So thank you so much for being you and continue being really good to yourself. Believe in yourself. Trust yourself, okay? More so now than ever. <laughs> and I will be back again very soon with more messages. All my infinite love as always. Peace. Hello, group number three. How are all of you beautiful heart and souls? Thank you so much once again for tuning in. I'm so grateful to be here with you. So let's see what your heart and soul wants you to know about this situation. Right now, we have energy healing. Merlin, beautiful energy healing. So I'm going to pull a couple more oracle cards before I get into the tarot. I'll pull a heart card here. Energy healing. So really, um, I feel like you're... I feel like there, it's a powerful time for, for healing energy in terms of like, I feel like you're learning a lot about yourself as a healer and how you heal energy and how you can participate in it. Um, and it's like, it's like, I don't know, like your power in the world, <laughs> something about your power in the world, your healing powers, you know, what they're all about and how you can kind of work with them, you know, in the real world. So let's see here. You got Merlin with you. It's very magical. Okay, we have this heart card here. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay, I feel like you're in this beautiful energy of love. And I, I it's like I almost can feel like, you know, people are thinking about you in such positive, beautiful ways. And when you feel that energy, you know, you feel that love radiating through you. You feel that love you know, entering into your field. And it's something where it um, enhances your ability to feel connected more to the energetic flow around you and the healing powers that you have and how that relates, you know, to your connections in life, how you, how you interact with others, how you treat others in love and how you receive that energy back in so many, you know, unexpected multidimensional ways um, or varied ways, I want to say, not necessarily unexpected, however, more varied ways, um, how it, how it all flows in such, you know, beautiful ways, because it's like, it doesn't mean that you, you what you give out, you're necessarily going to receive back in, in the same way. It's like it, it, you're receiving it back in multiple ways. And it's just, you know, giving and receiving. It's like this whole energy thing. Um, so let's get one more Oracle card here and I'll get into the tarot. A lot of loving thoughts, you know, you're very loved, you love and, and loving thoughts are arriving back to you. And I feel like it's really helping you learn more about your own healing powers. Um, so this is really cool. It's like you can really get into alchemy right now. <laughs> I love it. Life itself, thinking of you this very moment. <laughs> See yourself in nature. Yeah, I feel you're like this. Um, it's a number number 40. It's like you're a, an intrinsic part of nature now, like the, one of the pure sources, one of the pure vibing energies of nature. You know, we're all like this, these bodies of energy. And I feel like you're really in tune. You're really aligned with, excuse me, you're really aligned with your energy. It gave me a hiccup. <laughs> Um, so it's just really cool to see yourself as a part of nature, as a part of the, the ecosystem, the health, the thriving, the, the life force energy and all the beneficial positive ways that bring forth nurturing and magic and color to our reality. I'm seeing a lot of color. I'm seeing a lot of living energy that's alive, which, you know, produces benefits for other living beings and creatures to be able to, you know, play and, and alchemize and heal and grow and thrive and whatever it is they do. So it feels really, really good. Okay. So my goodness, <laughs> you're, you're, you're like, your power is, is beautifully aligned. It's lit up. It's gorgeous. Um, you can really work with it right now in ways that you've never been able to. And I feel like it's going to be really fun and really enjoyable for you. <clears throat> Let's see here. 
We have the Four of Swords. So it may be time to come out of meditation practices and, and be more hands-on. Like I'm feeling like the alchemy side of it where you're like hands-on with your, your abilities. I'm seeing you like walking through a park or, or like a nature scene somewhere. And, you know, just like whatever you're going to have to experience it for yourself. But I see you like physically interacting with things like when you're touching plants and stuff, like really being in the alchemical flow of life in a hands-on way. We have the hermit here. So this is really something that's, you know, it's your soul guided path, something that really rings true for your heart and soul, something that you may, you know, it's like something you do alone regardless. And we have the tower here. So I feel like it's something that, you know, it's something that's very needed for the earth right now. It's very needed for, it's almost like a cleansing energy, you know, cleansing the earth of anything negative, of anything destructive, of anything that's no longer serving or benefiting kind of, you know, helping dissolve any sort of power structures that are controlling or manipulative. Like, I feel like this is something where you have an awareness of this. Um, however, I feel like it's like a spiritual awakening type of thing where, you know, you have to be really mindful of your power. You have to be really mindful of your alchemy because the, the, the purpose is not to destroy or, or cause destruction. It's to bring healing and awareness to, you know, life. And so that we can resolve things in a way that's beneficial for everyone instead of destructive. So I feel like there's something here around that, like maybe being able to see it for that. Um, and it requires you to get outside. It requires you to get more in tune with nature in a physical way so that you can see things with, with your own eyes, you know, going into places like, it's like, I'm seeing you physically walking around in places versus being in meditation, more like walking meditations in the physical reality where you can actually witness how your energy effects you know what's going on around you versus being in meditation where you're just sitting still and seeing it all in your mind's eye i feel like this is something where you know you alone you know for you to have this intention or this knowing or awareness when you're out and about it's something that's a part of your individual soul plan your life plan your purpose um, and here you know the hermit holding the snake with the wolf it's like i feel like it's going to show you like how you're connected to so many different elements and how you work really well with them um, so it's going to be really exciting. Like, I feel like a, a really beautiful, like co-creative thing where maybe only you're aware of it and that's okay. Like it's something for only you to be aware of. Um, I feel like it's almost like showing you like how we can prevent catastrophes from happening that are really devastating to lots of people and instead show you how we can work with the energies in a really benevolent way that brings more beauty and life force where things feel calmer, things feel more reassuring people you know, have insightful ideas or feel like they, you know, there's an energy of like resolution where there's, it takes the fear out of it. Um, so let's see, let me get some clarifying cards here. I really feel Merlin with you right now. Like out, like, like your alchemical teacher. <laughs> we have the king of cups. Yeah. I'm feeling like this energy of emotion and compassion, really understanding compassion and the benefit of being in your heart. And I'm, I'm really seeing this, like, it's like, it's interesting because it's like, it feels like being in real life, you know, versus being in the classroom, you know, it's like, it's that kind of energy. Ooh, we have the Ace of Cups here. It's so beautiful. And we have the Empress. Yeah. It just, it feels like there's a time where, you know, it, we, we're in the classroom learning and we're educating ourselves and in a way that's very practical. And then we got to get out in real life and actually, you know, apply what we've learned. That's what it feels like right now. And it feels really good. Like your, your cup of this overfloweth, your energy is unconditional love. Your vibes are really good. You're in a very emotionally stable place in your life. Um, and the Empress energy here, bringing, you know, actual nurturing energy to the world, energy that's thriving, that's good, that's loving, that really, it's like the nutrients, the vitamins of life. Um, and I feel like it's like having this awareness of how things can happen, especially, you know, when you're, you see them in your mind, you see them in the world, like, and what can we do to change things? How can we bring about an energy of love to the world that's practical without being angry or upset or making it worse. Like, I feel like you have that awareness and really seeing yourself as nature, as a part of nature and how you can do that with your presence and how you can work with your alchemy, your healing powers, whatever gifts you have. 
Um, I'm really seeing you embody that, especially here with the Empress. I'm feeling a lot of support around your, you know, the way that you go about in the world. Like you're very supported and you have this, this knowing, this wisdom to you that's very nurturing, very beautiful. Okay. So it's like you're, you're, you're able to share your energy in a way that's so pure and so loving and, and, you know, nonchalantly even. <laughs> so let's see, let's get some more Oracle cards here. It's really beautiful. My goodness. Okay, we'll take this one. Trust. Number 47, trust. So again, it's a time to really trust yourself. Trust your, you know, trust what you know to be true in your heart. Trust your own powers. Um, really learning to trust yourself in new ways. Trusting nature. Trusting the way that spirit works. The net that it's it feels to me a lot like nature energy, like life force energy. Really working with life force energy. Um, it, it's it's expansive and it's so connected to the earth. You know, there's something here about being connected to the earth and really recognizing that. You know, and how the earth begins to flourish and and become more beautiful and alive when we are in line, when we are aligned in our heart, in our soul, and we understand our powers and how to direct them and how we can benefit. Um, you know, what we can actually do that we can be more proactive, that we can. You know, like it's like I'm seeing, I'm seeing, you know, a, a person out in their garden and like recognizing, like, oh, I can mix the compost and the nutrients this way, and then you apply it and you know, your, your plants thrive so much better. Like the things that you can actually do that create benefit. It's like you have wisdom and knowledge and I feel like it's time for you to learn how to really apply them in life in new ways that are really fun for you. that are really great. And just, you know, it feels so natural and it feels so good. Um, it's really, really awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome. Let's get a few more Oracle cards here. We have rest number 15. Oh, this feels beautiful. It's like, it's like being able to enjoy, you know, like what you create, you know, because it's like we create for so many reasons. And I feel like you really resting and enjoying in, in what you create, like, you know, why we do what we do. This place is beautiful and the energy is so wonderful and it feels so good to just relax and enjoy the space. And, you know, so I feel like you're going to be able to really experience the benefit of what you create and why you create what you do. And it just feels really good. So allow yourself time to rest and enjoy, you know, along the way. And that's what, you know, alchemy is all about. It's, you know, we're human beings. We enjoy leisure and relaxing and, and, the fruits of our labor, you know, it's like, I feel like it's so great. You really get to enjoy everything that you create. And so, you know, trusting yourself right now and not getting too, you know, feeling like you have to save the world or do anything. It's more so recognizing, you know, you're already this beautiful, innate part of life and really being in the flow with it in a way that's really easy, that real feels really good and still very powerful um, and rest. And I just, I feel like you're able to really enjoy this abundant energy in such beautiful ways. Okay. And if you feel tired, you're, you know, take time to rest, especially, you know, I don't know, there's something here about nature, enjoying it and allow, you know, receiving that alchemical. It's like nature wants to heal you too. So obviously nature heals us. <laughs> it's just like, I feel like there's this energy where you're able to, to receive, you know, you're able to receive the, the powers of earth in ways that you feel really good about because you're also giving, you know, it's like this, this beautiful mutual relationship and this energy. And I feel like there's, it's so powerful. You're, you're ready and open and receptive to more, um, more, um, energetic flow when it comes to healing energy, you know? So I feel like you're going to receive a lot that feels really deep and really good for you. And I feel like energetically wise, you know, we, we grow and we expand energetically. And if we, receive too much energy when we're not ready it can be a shock to our system so I feel like you're just naturally growing and you're able to receive more profound energies and wisdom and understanding and connection with the earth in ways that are are you know all about your growth and so this is really really beautiful as you grow the earth grows it's more abundant you're more abundant um, it just it feels amazing okay let's see what else here I've got <laughs> get some more oracle cards here What else do you need to know about this situation? Girl talk. 
time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so you know this this may be something you really enjoy talking about with your friends um, being able to share just talk openly like you know friends do about things and it just feels really great so you know this is a great time to just feel that empress energy that communication friendship nurture your friendships have new things to share, new things to engage in, and and that beneficial healing energy, just being in your heart and loving. I feel like this is a really beautiful time for you to to just you know be yourself and 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 do whatever feels natural. Um, I, I feel you just really happy, really present, being able to live in the moment and have fun. So that's really great. <laughs> Let's go in here with the Bob Ross card. The king of clubs. Anything we don't like will turn into a happy little tree or something. <laughs> it's like you can see yourself, you can see how your energy transforms the world, you know, and I think that's really great. I feel like you're, um, you're able to have creative new ways of being able to work with the earth, you know, and your manifestation, your alchemical powers, your healing powers, <clears throat> you know, how you create, what you create, seeing the world full of trees versus, you know, garbage and litter and stuff like that. Like, I feel like you're, you're, it's, it's really coming from a beautiful, fun, loving place. And, um, you know, being able to talk about it with your friends, your family, the people that you engage with, it feels all really, really good. And I just, I see like lighthearted discussions and laughter and, you know, this beautiful approach to all of, all of the things that could be destructive, you know, like tower moments. It's like, there's, there's a way to approach it beautifully. That feels really good in your heart. Um, and it doesn't, so it doesn't send anyone into fear. Are you into fear about like, Oh, doom and gloom, you know, there's no hope. <laughs> like, I feel like it's just this renewed remembrance of yourself and how we create. And it just feels really, really great. Okay. Let's get a self love card here. Well, that one wanted to come out it says I am part of the harmonious whole as we all are I know I am one with all life I am the beauty and joy of the universe expressing and receiving so that's what you need to know about this situation you are the beauty and joy of the universe expressing and receiving you know that you are one with all life how beautiful. I am part of the harmonious whole as we all are. I love this so much. You're really feeling it, receiving it, being able to share it in new profound ways. I am so happy for you and I'm so grateful and, and proud to know you. <laughs> Even just through this message, this channel is just, it's so great. It's such an honor to share with all of you these messages. You're so amazing. That was the I Ching card. I, that's not the right one. I mean, it could be. <laughs> it could be. You might want to tune into it if you feel guided. We're going to close the message with the divination of the ancients here. I personally love the I Ching. I think it's really fun. We have dictionary communication. So there may be something here where you feel guided in ways to um, learn more about words and like what what the meanings behind certain words i feel like there's something here about how you communicate or share what you're learning with others um dictionary you know it's like you may feel inspired to look up new words i actually have dictionaries um here that are like from i don't know the 60s or 70s i have a lot of old books i really like i, I have encyclopedias and you know books on nature and ge geography and uh, everything and i love even old books on like seeds and plants and all of that. And I love looking in the dictionary. Occasionally I'll read through it because, you know, to learn words and to how to communicate and express, especially when you're talking about alchemy or energy, it's really fun. It's really fascinating and it helps us learn so much. And I feel like, you know, with this, this is something for a divination tool that you can really tune into, um, you know, checking out books or just, you know, not even just books or stories, but dictionaries in particular, I'm feeling it's really fun to learn the meanings behind things and where they are rooted and where they come from. And um, I noticed too, like with older books, like a lot of words that we don't use anymore, 
there's a lot of words in there that we could use, that we could share and communicate, and it brings more clarity to certain subjects, and it also unlocks things within us that maybe have been dormant or we've forgotten over time. So as something that you may be guided to tune into right now, um, find a dictionary or an older dictionary and even even you know words that have to do with alchemy and healing um, the consciousness of, of energy um, I feel like you're really able to grasp that and tune into it and it, it may unlock some things for you especially here with girl talk where you might have fun you know it's like fun talking about things and learning about different words and um, especially what they mean and what they how they how you're able to communicate them um, you may even be someone that likes to share that information. So it'll be fun to, I don't know if you have a blog or a website or you're writing a book or you just like to write things down. Like I feel like it's going to help you expand and improve, you know, your own studies or your own feelings of, of energy and alchemy in ways that unlock your soul and remembrance and all of this. So something very cool, you know, <laughs> the dictionary, the good old dictionary, who knew, right? So my goodness, group number three, that is your message. I truly hope it resonated with you. I hope that it affirmed what you're feeling and that you, you know, feel guided in the wisdom that you are to continue moving forward in this beautiful, nurturing, amazing life force energy that you embody, that you receive, that you give every day is so powerful. Make sure you take time to rest, to enjoy resting, appreciate resting, um, trust yourself, trust the elements, um, trust what you feel. And my goodness. Anything we don't like, we'll just turn into a happy little tree or something. <laughs> and this message for you, I feel like, you know, there's so much love being guided your way that you're receiving. And it could even be someone special, you know, that you know in your heart who it is and you know what that message is all about. So I just, I feel a lot of gratitude to be sharing this message with you. So thank you, group number three, for allowing me to tune in. I truly appreciate you and thank you to all my subscribers so much. I love you infinitely. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe if the message resonated. Um, it's my honor and pleasure as always to share these, to tune in and share these messages with all of you beautiful heart and souls. So thank you. And I will be back again very soon with another message. So keep being good to yourself. Keep being amazing and I'm sending all my infinite love as always. Peace.